Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from amandacrochets.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful shell stitch scarf. This is a beginner friendly pattern and you can use any worsted weight yarn that you would like and it comes out to be 7 inches wide by 60 inches long however you can always change up the sizing of this and make it your own by just changing up the multiple and making the scarf as long as you would like. So for this particular scarf I just use a solid color however if you want to use a variety of different colors or if you want to make this in a variegated color you can certainly do so. As I said it is a beginner friendly stitch and this is what the shell stitch looks like. So let's begin on learning how to make the shell stitch scarf. So for, day, for today's tutorial you're going to need a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and you're going to need at least one skein of yarn. Now if you're using the same yarn that I'm using, I'm using Red Heart with Love and I use the color Iced Aqua. However, if you take a look on my blog, I made this scarf using Karen Simply Soft yarn, and I used about one or two skeins, maybe about like one and a half skeins for this scarf, so it really depends on the yarn that you have. So I would always buy one extra skein just in case, but if you're using the Red Heart with Love like I showed you, or even Red Heart Super Saver, you, you could get by making the exact size scarf that I have just with one skein. So to start you're going to make a slip stitch, or slip knot rather. Okay. And then you are going to make a foundation chain and you want that chain to be a multiple of 6 plus 1. So that means you multiply any number by 6 to get your width and once you are satisfied you will go ahead and add one more chain onto the very end. So for the purposes of my scarf, for the shell, sti for the shell stitch scarf I made a chain of 31 stitches. So to make a chain, you're going to do yarn over your hook, insert that hook through the loop on your hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. So now that you have your thirty-one chains, you're going to start row one. So for row one, you're going to make two double crochets into the fourth chain from your hook. So the loop on your hook does not count, and you're going to count four chains from your hook. So one, two, three, and four. So in this chain right here, you're going to do two double crochets. So that means yarn over your hook. Insert your hook into that fourth chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Three loops are on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And you're going to make one more double crochet in that very same chain. So again, insert your yarn over and insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Next, you are going to skip two chains and you're going to make one single crochet into that next chain. So you're going to skip this one in this stitch or this chain and then in the chain after that you're going to make a single crochet. So to make a single crochet you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Okay next you're going to skip two chains and you're going to make four double crochets into the next stitch. So again, you're going to skip two chains, so one and two, and in that next chain after that, you're going to make four double crochets all in that same chain. And this will form your shell. And then you're just going to repeat this all the way down until you get to the end. 
So that's two, three, and four. So you're going to skip two chains, one and two, and in the next chain after that you're going to make a single crochet, skip two chains, one and two, and in the chain after that you're going to make four double crochets all in that same chain. Okay, skip the next two chains and in the chain after that you're going to make one single crochet skip two chains in the chain after that you're going to make two you're going to make four double crochets Skip two chains and the chain after that you're going to make a single crochet. Skip two chains and in the chain after that you're going to make four double crochets. And then when you get to the end of your row, you should have three chains left. So you're going to skip two, and then that very last chain, you're going to make a single crochet. So this is what your first row, row would look like. So as you can see, your shell stitch is starting to form a little bit. So for your next row, you're going to go ahead and chain three, and you're going to turn. So one, two, and three, and then turn your work. To begin row two, you are going to make two double crochets in the very first single crochet. So that very first stitch right here, you're going to go ahead and make two double crochets right in that very first stitch. Next you're going to skip two stitches and you're going to make one single crochet in between the second and third double crochet of your double crochet group. So what that means is you're going to find your shell, so it's right here, and you're going to count one, two, and then in between, so you're going to go right in between, you're going to make your single crochet. Just like that. So basically in the middle of your shell, you're going to make a single crochet. So you should have two double crochets on the left and two double crochets on the right. And then in between that second and third stitch is your single crochet. Next, you're going to skip over these two double crochets. And in the single crochet from the previous row, you're going to do four double crochets. So basically what you're doing is you're alternating these stitches. So whenever you see a single crochet, you're going to make your four double crochets. And whenever you see your shell stitch cluster, you're going to make a single crochet in the very center of your cluster. So that's how your shells kind of offset a little bit and they make that beautiful pattern. So you're going to skip these next two double crochets and then in between your next stitches you're going to make a single crochet skip the next two double crochets and in the single crochet right here you're going to make four double crochets Okay, skip the next two double crochets 
and then you're going to insert your hook in between and make a single crochet. Again, skip the next two double crochets and in that single crochet you're going to make four double crochets. Okay, skip the next two double crochets and in between make a single crochet. Skip the next two double crochets and make four double crochets in that single crochet. Okay, then when you get to the very end, you're going to skip these two double crochets and in the top of that chain three that you skipped from the beginning, you're going to make a single crochet in the top of that chain three. So this is what two rows will look like. Like I said, your shells are going to offset each other and that's what makes it nice and pretty and textured just like that. So you're just going to go ahead and chain three. So one, two, and three, and then turn your work. And basically for, from here on out, you're going to continue working row two until your scarf is 60 inches long or desired length. So you're just going to repeat row two over and over again until your desired length. Again, I did my scarf a 60 inch length scarf. However, if you want to make it longer, you can certainly do that. So just continue repeating row two over and over again until you complete your length. And then I will show you how to end your row and weave in that final end. So just continue and then I will be back and show you how to finish the scarf. Okay, so I finished my scarf and I am at the end. I already cut my yarn. So I have about maybe a few inches worth. So I finished my last single crochet. So I'm just going to simply yarn over and pull through that yarn to make a slip knot or slip stitch and then just pull tight. And then you're gonna get your tapestry needle. I'm just using this blunt tapestry needle with the big eye just so I can weave in my yarn. Okay, so then to weave in your yarn, you're just simply going to go back and forth in between your stitches. So there's no right or wrong way. You just want to make sure that you feel like your tail end is nice and secure. So just go in between the stitches. And I like to go in three different ways, but again, you can weave in your ends however you feel is comfortable for you and is nice and secure. Then I'm going to go one more time in the opposite direction. And that's basically it. And then I'm just going to I actually don't have a pair of scissors with me, but you're just going to clip your end and you would go ahead and do the same thing for the other end of your scarf. So you should just have, if you use the same yarn that I have, then you should just have two ends to weave in. However, if you use the Karen Simply Soft or another worsted weight yarn, you might have um, a few other ends to use. So you can also use this scarf to use up your leftover ends with. So if you have a few other skeins that are not, not quite full skeins, you can certainly use those skeins to use up. This is a nice scrap um, project that you can use. You can use a full skein, like I said. So the possibilities are really up to you. But again, this shell, shell stitch scarf ended up being 7 inches wide and 60 inches long. 
Again, you can customize it depending on how big you want your scarf. You can make it a thicker scarf. You can make it a thinner scarf. You just need to change up the multiple, which I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So this is how to make this beautiful shell stitch scarf. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, if there's ever a video that you would like to see me make, please leave me a comment in the comment section below and I will try my best to get to that video for you. Alright everybody, happy crocheting! Bye!